What's up guys, today we're going to show you how to cook kare kare in an instant pot. Kare kare is a savory meat stew that consists of oxtail and vegetables, all covered in a thick savory peanut sauce. To create the dish, you'll want to start off with 2.5 to 3 pounds of oxtail. First, set aside the smaller pieces with less meat on them, and then take the medium to large pieces and cut 3 to 5 slits parallel to the bone for each one. This will help to cook the meat more evenly, or so we think. Ideally, when you're making these slits, you want to cut the oxtail directly on the cutting board, and not so willy-nilly like I just did. Afterwards, go ahead and place your oxtail in your Instant Pot. Next, add in 2 teaspoons of salt, 1 teaspoon of pepper, and half a large onion cut into quarters. Then add 5 cups of water. Secure the lid, and make sure the steam release is set to the ceiling setting. Then set your Instant Pot at high pressure on the meat stew setting for 45 minutes. When it's done, quick release the pressure inside the pot until the float valve unlocks. This will allow you to quickly and safely open the lid without having to wait for the pressure to naturally relieve itself. At this point, take the pot and set it aside. In a new pan, pour in 2-3 to three tablespoons of oil and then throw in half a large julienne cut onion and saute it until it's translucent. Next, add in four cloves of minced garlic and then add in two teaspoons of anatta powder and stir until the powder is dissolved. Now, transfer all of your oxtail into the pan and coat the oxtail with all the ingredients you just sauteed. Afterwards, set the oxtail aside again so that we can cook the vegetables. First, take 4 cups of broth from the oxtail and pour it into the pan. Then throw in 1 Chinese eggplant. And 3 baby bok choy with the stems cut off. Cover the pan, but first make sure to submerge the vegetables. And then cook the vegetables for 2 minutes over medium-high heat. Remove the bok choy and cook the eggplant for an additional 3 minutes. Afterwards, remove the eggplant and set them aside as well. The reason why we cook the vegetables and the meat at different times is to make sure that the ingredients don't get overcooked or fall apart. At this point, you can salt the broth to taste if needed, but in our case, our broth was perfect, so we skipped the extra salt. Afterwards, add in half a cup of creamy peanut butter, and dissolve it into the broth. Simmer and stir it until it begins to thicken or until the consistency is to your liking. Now, just add the oxtail back in and coat all the sides with the peanut butter sauce. Then evenly arrange your bok choy and eggplant around your oxtail. And then BAM! You have yourself a savory pan of kare kare. Now just go ahead and plate it and let's eat! A plate of kare kare isn't complete without a side of bagaong. This is used as a dipping sauce that helps to balance out the savory flavors of the dish. Just make sure to use it sparingly with each bite. It's talagang tasty! What's up guys? If you guys like the video, make sure to give us a thumbs up and leave a comment below. And if you want to see more videos, then hit the subscribe button below and tap on the bell icon so that you get notified as soon as we drop the next one.